Sorry guys, I was just climbing into my closet to record. Much like the main characters of Dragnet, I spend a lot of time in the closet. Hey Dragnetters, welcome to Dragnet Theory, a channel where we theorize about the critically acclaimed 1987 comedy film Dragnet, based on the 1951 television program of the same name. You may recognize Dragnet from a joke in Neil Cicerigo's video, Guide to Tom Hanks. Very funny, Neil. On today's episode, we'll be discussing the sexuality of the three main Dragnet characters, Joe Friday, Pep Strebeck, and the Virgin Connie Swale. And guess what? They're all gay! Let's start with Joe Friday, a by-the-book cop who loves to protect the city of Los Angeles more than he loves anyone in his life. Let's begin with Friday's sexually charged run-in with baitmate Sylvia Wiss. Strebeck witnesses this encounter and acknowledges that Sylvia wants to fuck. But Friday keeps moving on with the investigation. When Strebeck asks, Are you crazy? Sylvia Wiss wanted you. Friday responds that one of the things that separates humans from animals is that we can control our sexual urges. Admitting that he also wanted to fuck. But Lexi, you whine, this is Friday being straight, not gay like you promised. Is he bi? No! Did you even pay attention to the film? One of the first lines of the film is, Ladies and gentlemen, the story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. For example, George Baker is now called Sylvia Wiss. So in reality, Joe Friday was not attracted to a woman named Sylvia Wiss, but a man named George Baker. Seems pretty gay to me. But Friday isn't the only gay man in that patrol car. Pep Strebeck is also a certified homosexual. Strebeck's clear attraction to Sylvia Wiss, who we now know as George Baker, makes his gayness pretty apparent. But I don't think the rampant homosexuality of Dragnet ends at our two leads being gay. I think they're gay for each other. But Lexi, you want again. Both of them sleep with women. They can't be in love with each other. You dumb bitch. You buffoon. Because of compulsory heterosexuality, they don't know they're in love. In fact, Strebeck's visits to strip clubs can also be classified as an attempt to repress his homosexuality. On a subconscious level, they know they're in love, but in order to convince themselves that their feelings are just those of friendship, they seek relationships with women. In the first act of this cinematic piece of art, Strebeck says to Friday, you've got a lot of repressed feelings, don't you? This question not only has a direct meaning, but the underlying commentary that Strebeck knows Friday is gay. This represents the first inkling of a romantic relationship between our two leads. Later in the film, Strebeck follows Friday to what Pep believes is a date. While Strebeck would like to believe that this is out of pure curiosity, it's possible that he's motivated by jealousy instead. Streetbeck's subsequent attempts to court Friday's grandmother are really an attempt to get closer to Friday, even if they can never truly be together. Now let's get back to the women keeping these lovers apart. The two female officers that Streetbeck sleeps with can be chalked up to Pep's public enemy number one, compulsory heterosexuality. But the virgin Connie Swale is a different story. And I don't preface her name with the Virgin just to reference the cinematic masterpiece, but to make my primary point, Connie Swale has never had sex because she's never been attracted to a man. As a lesbian in a world full of straights, the idea of being attracted to women seems almost impossible to Connie, so much that she never considers it. Instead, she mistakes her trust for Friday, the man that saved her life, as a romantic attraction. But Lexi, you're back again? You know I'm going to prove you wrong. I know it's implied that Connie and Friday had sex, but I think it was just that, an implication. Nothing more. When Friday tells Strebeck he spent the night with Connie Swale, Strebeck responds, the virgin Connie Swale, and Friday only provides a look implying Connie is no longer a virgin. But the fact that Friday, a straightforward just-the-facts man, provides no verbal confirmation leads me to believe that he did not sleep with Connie, and they are just using each other to put up a facade of heterosexuality. So it's pretty definite Dragnet's lead characters, Pep Strebeck, Joe Friday, and Connie Swale, Swale are all gay. But that's just a theory, a dragnet theory, and cut. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.